conflicted. You understand that. You'll take a look at that. There's never been a judge so conflicted as this. It's ridiculous. And also, there's no crime. You know where the crime is? In the bodegas, where they come and rob them every week. Or more than that. Yeah, more than that. More than that. Yeah. Do you think a juror in your mind is an ideal juror? In Anybody trial? that's fair. Do you believe that the jury is a juror seated I'll let you know after, after the trial, depending on that. Because don't forget, you know, we're appealing. There shouldn't be a judge. If you look and you take a look around, a good strong look, every legal scholar, every legal pundit said there should be no trial. This is not, there was nothing done wrong. This is all politics. This is coming out of the White House. And, you know, it makes me campaign locally, and that's okay. It's not. Uh, I don't think so. We there we go. You know what? I don't think so. I think we're doing better, Brian. We're doing better now than we've ever done. So I think it's having a reverse effect. You know what? All I want is fairness. And these people have to be treated better. The Bodega Association, Bodegas, because every week they're being robbed two, three times. It's crazy. It's crazy. And you know what? The police can do it. They can stop it. But they have to be allowed to do their job. So what is that? Who is To address the inner cities of America and give them hope to restore the American dream. Atlanta, New York, Philly, Chicago, D.C. We're going to come in and, number one, you have to stop crime. And we're going to let the police do their job. They have to be given back their authority. They have to be able to do their job. And we're going to come into New York. We're making a big play for New York. Other cities do, but this city... I love this city, and it's gone so bad in the last three years, four years, and we're going to straighten New York out. So running for president, we're putting a big hit for New York. We think we can win New York. With a half a million migrants that poured in and take over the parks, they took over your hotels, they take over everything. It's no good. And you know what they've done? They've destroyed so many people. The African-American community now is not getting jobs. Migrants are taking their jobs that are here illegally. Hispanics are not getting jobs. Migrants are taking the jobs. If you look at the unemployment, the unemployment is good for migrants now. It went up 10 percent, all migrants. And they're, they're in our country. Now, they're coming from prisons. I don't know if you know. They come from mental institutions. They come from prisons. They come from places you don't want to know about. They, they're coming from jails and prisons, mental institutions, and insane asylums. And you have massive numbers of terrorists coming into our country, all because of Biden. And by the way, this trial that I have now, that's a Biden trial. They want to keep me off the campaign trail. But based on what I'm doing, I think there's more press here than there is uh, if I went out to some nice location. How would you like to go to I like the police have to be able to do their job. The police in New York are great. They have to be able to do their job. They have to protect these people. Because I just met, look at this young man. And he's got a son who looks like he's a movie star. He's, he's much better looking than the father. And the father looks good. And you know what? He says he's robbed all the time. I said, how are you doing? He said, well, we're robbed all the time. Look, beautiful place. He's robbed all the time. Nobody's ever seen it. Alvin Bragg's fault? Is that Alvin Bragg's fault? Alvin Bragg's fault? It's Alvin Bragg's fault. Yeah. Alvin Bragg does nothing. He goes after guys like Trump, who did nothing wrong. Violent criminals, murderers, they know they're... 
There are hundreds of murderers all over the city. They know who they are. They don't pick them up. They go after Trump. You are going to be Say it. What? Mr. President, how do you feel about the seven jurors that were selected today? Uh, I'll let you know in about uh, two months. Mr. President, do you push any immigration reform for those good immigrants who doesn't have papers right now, but they what have you been have working to do, hard? Look, right now is we have to get the criminals, because many of the people coming into our country are criminals. And, and mental patients, we have to get them out. They're going to bring them back. We're going to have the largest deportation in the history of our country. And you know who needs that? New York. And again, remember, African-American, Hispanic-American, Asian-American, they're all losing. Unions are losing. What about, what, what about the, the ones? Right we'll be talking. We're going to be talking. What is he doing here? Because he doesn't like the community, the Latino community, the Latino immigrants. Me? What would you say to Oh, them? I love them, and they love me. Did you see my numbers? My numbers are the highest numbers in the history of the Republican Party with the Latinos, with the... Immigrants. Did you know that? Yeah. And frankly, the immigrants, the illegal immigrants, we're going to have to do something because no country can sustain it. Remember, they're emptying out their prisons and they're emptying out their mental institutions into our country. These are prisoners and people from mental institutions largely that are coming out. Jimmy Carter's happy because he's got he's had a brilliant presidency compared to Biden. He's destroyed our country between the borders and everything else. He has destroyed our country. Not only that, wars are breaking out all over the world. We'll end up with this foolish person, this person that doesn't act. We're going to end up in a World War III. So we have to get rid of Biden. We're going to make a heavy play for New York. That's why I'm here. And we have tremendous Hispanic support. The Hispanics are supporting me at a level that nobody's ever seen before. We're going to make a heavy play for New York. Also, African-American support. No Republican has ever had the African-American support that I have. So we're going to make a heavy play for New York. We'll work with the Democrat mayor. We'll work with the Democrat governor. And we're going to get the state fixed up. Ryan, go ahead. used to be the city that never slept. Now these diners can't stay open at 2 a.m. in the morning. Now it's a city that always sleeps. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get it straightened out. We're going to work with the mayor. We're going to work with the governor. Democrats. I'll work with Democrats. We have to straighten out New York. New York, if it, if it goes any further out, it'll never come back. What you believe you violated the gag order? What? you believe you violated the gag order? No, I didn't. There shouldn't be a gag order. Let me just tell you. The gag order is totally unconstitutional. The judge should not be there. The judge is highly conflicted. He should not be there. I think we're going to connect. I think we're connecting already. I, mean, I was I was invited here by the Bodega Association, and you know they're being treated very badly. Between the all the rock, they're getting robbed two three times a week. The stores. Uh, I think we're doing very well. Oh, they see it. They see it. Look, the migrants have taken over New York. You have 500,000 illegal migrants in New York. The people of New York are not going to take it. That's why they're going to vote for Trump. Thank you. Thank you. Speak your job. Speak your job.
Washington because they're losing badly. You know they're losing very badly. You do know that. They're losing badly in the polls, and I think you're going to see some numbers coming out now even higher. People don't like the persecution. They don't like what's going on. They don't like these fake prosecutors. Uh, deranged Jack Smith, the whole group of them, and I think you're going to see some big changes being made. You know what we're going to be doing, right? We're going to be saving America. Our country is under siege. And take a look at Israel. Israel, all of a sudden, it doesn't feel protected. It has Biden. He doesn't know where he is. It's a real mess. Mr. President, 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 M